Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft Edge has received a version upgrade, which rolled out once again late yesterday in my region on the 18th of April. And to double check we have the update, as always, we head to our main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And the latest version in bold after this update has been applied is now sitting on version 124.0.2478. Point fifty one. So this is now the latest stable release. Now, first of all, we are dealing with a couple of security issues, both for the Edge browser and also for the Chromium open source project. And there are three Edge-specific security issues that have been addressed for the browser itself. And then we get the open source Chromium security fixes that have been rolling out to the other browsers throughout the course of this week, which are also now available with this update. And if you missed my previous videos, just a quick recap, there are 23 security fixes that are part of that update. And they address four high-risk vulnerabilities, a couple of mediums and a couple of lows. There are no zero days that have been exploited in the wild, which is always good news. And those four high-risk vulnerabilities are object corruption in V8, object corruption in WebAssembly, use after free in V8, and use after free in download. So four high-risk vulnerabilities have been patched. 23 security fixes have rolled out in total for the Chromium project. Three edge specific for the browser itself. Now, this update does include numerous under-the-hood improvements and tweaks and adjustments for businesses and enterprise. So that would be Edge for Business. Now, I don't think your average user is going to be interested in um, all of these updates. So if you do find yourself using Edge for Business and you want to know more about those um, improvements, I'll leave the release notes down below in the description if you'd like more info. But there is one that you may be interested in, and I have posted on this previously where Microsoft says Microsoft Edge is migrating the updates into browser essentials, which means in the future, browser essentials, as you may well know, is found if you have the the, um, shortcut button enabled in your toolbar, or you can also just head to your main menu. They say notifications on available Edge updates will come from browser essentials instead of the settings page for better visibility and experience. So, In the future, we may not be heading to help and feedback about Microsoft Edge, but we may be heading to Browser Essentials. So it's going to be interesting to see how that all works out. But that, according to the release notes, is a new feature with Edge version 1.2.4. And over and above that, we get three new policies, one deprecated policy, and they've also obsoleted two policies. And that's it, guys. That's what the official release notes tell us rolled out um, with this update now. Um, Just on a side note, I have noticed two changes that aren't listed officially in the release notes, and I thought you may be interested in these because I have posted on these two new features when they were still in preview and have now made their way into the stable channel. So um, if we head to our settings menu and we head to appearance, both of these feature on the appearance page. So the first one is if we head down to our little buttons we can enable here on the toolbar, you'll notice there is now a show sidebar button that is now rolled out with Edge version 124. And what this is all about is obviously um, you have the option to turn this on and off. But what this does, it replaces the Copilot icon if you turn off the Copilot icon. So if we head to our sidebar options and we head to Copilot and we turn off Copilot, you can now see it shows the sidebar button. And what's nice about this is because with out that option enabled, if you turn off Copilot, the sidebar but the sidebar stays um, displayed. But now you have the option to actually hide the sidebar button, which I think is a nice move. So that's rolling out now with Edge version 124. And there we go. We can replace the sidebar with Copilot. And obviously, that keeps the sidebar displayed um, in all instances. So... That's found here on the appearance page, show sidebar button, and there we go. And then the next and new feature is also on the appearance page, found just under mouse gesture, and you can now turn off split screen, which previously was by default uh, in the and on the toolbar. So split screen, just a recap, 
obviously as the name implies opens up two windows or two tabs in the same window and very efficient for multitasking as you may well know so now you can toggle that off and then you'll have to restart the browser and there you can see you can actually remove the split screen button now which was not the case before version 124 and i think that's nice because it just gives us an option to declutter that toolbar if you are not using the split screen but split screen for most is a very handy multitasking feature and obviously if you want to enable it again you just toggle that on you restart the browser and the same applies it'll pop everything back and there we go and if we just head back to that setting you may have noticed that underneath the main setting there's a subsection there's a subsection here configure split screen and at this stage it's doing exactly the same thing as the main setting so obviously maybe there's a bit of work to be done there but nonetheless that sidebar button now you can enable to replace copilot in the sidebar and you can turn off enable split screen and that's more or less guys what's rolled out with our latest release and stable version 124 of the edge browser for desktop so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one